this is like crazy uh unbelievable uh so i was doing a bronze password no save and quit run and my doom dragon strat was kind of sketchy so i made a save and um as i loaded in i noticed this i had saved in just the right location where felix popped out of bounds briefly immediately alerting us to the fact there is something janky going on here cool Hop over to emulator for a moment. What I discovered was that um, this animation, what it does is it tries to push Felix out of a door. So you can kind of see how I've got this grid up here. Like when I move over a tile, it like shifts the grid. It kind of aligns Felix in the center of the grid unit and then pushes him out as if he's exiting the door, right? So what was happening in the in, in, on console over here is that uh, Felix was being rounded to the left to be on top of the start of this grid unit. Like, if you can imagine this whole, like, diagonal piece, the whole diagonal is, like, the diagonal of the grid. So it's physically putting Felix at the top of the, the diagonal piece and then pushing him out. So that's what's going on there. So next question is obviously, can we do anything else with this? Can we force Felix into a location where he can actually get out of bounds? And the answer is, well, unsurprisingly, yes, we can. So what we can do is we can get Felix down to this corner down here, more or less. You can kind of see that I'm like on the edge of a grid unit. So I'm basically going to get aligned with this bit up here. The game's going to push me to the right, push me here, and then make the exit as if I have uh, exited that door. So, oh, by the way, this behavior only happens once. You do the teleport up, and then for some reason your entrance trigger is, is triggered wrong. So you teleport up here, go to this location, save the game, and then the game rounds me to the right a little bit, forces me out of the door, makes me go forward, and voila, we're out of bounds. Um, fantastically speaking, we are actually straight up out of bounds, and there we go. Next thing is, can we do anything with this? Well, yes we can. Uh, all we need to do is, uh, I imagine we'll hard reset this for sanity. Or maybe we won't, I, I don't know. Basically, just to clear out the junk of the out of bounds memory. All we need to do now is find tile 22. What have I done? I've hit 20. What is 20? Oh, 20 is the is Craden telling us to go back and bounce. We need to find 22. Where is 22? Where is the 22? We don't know. Well, I haven't done much routing with this, by the way, so please bear with me while I find the 22 tile. There we go. There's the 22. Will you cast the Mars Star in? Yes, we will. Yes, we will, game. And then... The game freaks out for a little while. I don't know how long, but like, a little while. There it goes. <laughs> and the final cutscene starts playing out. We never fought the Doom Dragon. Yeah, correct. We just yeet that off screen, so it's just the time it takes to float over from wherever the 22 is. The ending sequence plays out. And you might be a little bit worried, because Prox's state hasn't been updated. Uh, as you can see, Isaac's not here, this cutscene's all screwed up. Isaac's portrait is literally still on the screen. And uh, Prox is still a little bit beat up, uh, that's fine. Uh, but come down here, and voila, the ending sequence is going to play out. Prox is still in ruin, but we don't give a shit, we're going fast. And ladies and gentlemen, we have Doom Dragon Skip in any category that allows a save and quit. Clap, clap, clap. Hi, YouTube. Clap, clap, clap. Fucking... I'm a genius. <laughs> Believe it or not, we found an even easier method to skip the Doom Dragon. Uh, so same deal as before. Hard reset. Uh, and then load in. Fall out of bounds. Yay. And now I'll just run upright. Into this wall. Hold up for a little while, then left for a little, like literally a tile, then hold up, and then we're done. Let's see how long the Mars Star takes to show up. It takes about the same amount of time. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> there you go. Uh, there's one more thing we should know about this uh, Doom Dragon skip, and that is. Well, you get this state here, and 
there's some really fun graphical glitches that happen with Isaac's portrait depending on what you do. And half the fun of this glitch is actually getting these fun portraits. Uh, first thing though, uh, this is going to cause a memory overflow being in your items or your um, uh, synergy lists. If you go through this enough times eventually the game will crash, which is right now the game has crashed I can't do anything. Um, I can actually show this on console as well because we've got all variety of portraits here. Um, basically, if you hover over each character, status menu is fun by the way. Yeah, if you hover over each character, you can kind of get like an Isaac fusion. So Isaac's portrait changes like Isaac cross Garrett, Isaac cross Ivan, Mia, Jenna, Sheba, Felix, Pia. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and then even certain synergy will also do stuff to the portrait. So uh, you have to be very careful because uh, that the state does not persist through save and um, you can crash the game but if you use for instance for one of these things parch you can kind of see how it uh, influences the portrait you can use burst or hover where's hover crap i'm gonna crash the game hover get this cool little rgb effect i've crashed the game um cyclone very cool First, first is quite cool. Um, I think that was it. There might, there might be another one, but I, I, oh, pound, pound, that's the one. And pound. They all kind of do cool things. So that's a neat little graphical glitch. It has um, no real implication. If you leave this room, Isaac goes away, and you can't uh, do it. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's a fun little graphical bonus glitch after the fact that. Uh, is now possible as well.